Welcome to another Salesing.com Rules Discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 Racing Rules of Sailing. We'll cover one rule at a time, incorporating the relevant definitions and using animated scenarios with questions and answers. This video is about Rule 17, which addresses the concept of proper course. This series is an update to the Fair Sailing Initiative sponsored by the ILYA in 2018. Our thanks to UK sailmakers for generating the animated scenarios. Rule 17 is in part two of the rules, which covers situations when boats meet or are about to meet. Section B of part two contains four rules that limit the actions of right-of-way boats. Rule 17 is the last of these four rules. Before we look at the specific rule language, let's set the stage with some key points. Rule 17 is designed to give some protection to a boat ahead from boats that are coming from behind and to leeward. These leeward boats could otherwise use Rule 11 to gain a significant advantage. The rule prevents a leeward boat from sailing higher than a proper course after gaining an overlap. However, there are limits on the protection. First, it only applies when boats are on the same tack and within two hull lengths of each other. And, as we'll see, the term proper course involves some judgment and may depend on the boat type and situation. Now let's look at the rule language. Take a moment to read it. The main portion says that if a boat clear astern becomes overlapped, within two of her hull lengths to leeward of a boat on the same tack, she shall not sail above her proper course. This is the concept we discussed in the previous slide. A leeward boat that comes from behind within two hull lengths of a boat on the same tack can't mess with the windward boat. The rest of the rule gives the exceptions. First, this only applies if the boats are on the same tack and remain on the same tack and overlap within that distance, the two boat lengths. Second, the leeward boat is free to sail as high as she wants if she passes astern of the windward boat. This is fairly obvious. And finally, the rule does not apply if the overlap begins while the windward boat is required by Rule 13 to keep clear. Remember that Rule 13 is the rule on wild tacking. Here's the definition of proper course. Take a moment to read it. The main part simply says that a boat's proper course is the course she would choose to sail the course and finish as soon as possible in the absence of other boats. We'll see examples of this in the scenarios. Also notice the exception in the definition. A boat has no proper course before her starting signal. This effectively means that Rule 17 doesn't apply before the start. Of course, this allows leeward boats to force windward boats head to wind to create a gap on the line. The definition of proper course was revised for 2021. The markup is shown to the right. The wording change is minor. It was made for ease of reading and translation into other languages. The meaning was not affected. Let's take a look at several scenarios for Rule 17. Here's the first scenario. Watch what happens. Yellow and blue are sailing downwind. Blue is initially ahead of yellow. Yellow then establishes an overlap and hails blue to take it up. Yellow heads up and blue heads up to avoid yellow. There was no contact. Blue alleges yellow broke rule 17. Yellow alleges there is no foul since she was the lured boat. Here's the first question. Did yellow break rule 17? The answer is yes. Yellow obtained the overlap from clear astern on the same tack and within two hull lengths to leeward. Yellow had no apparent reason to force blue up other than to gain advantage over blue. This violates rule 17. Here's another question. Since yellow violated Rule 17, did blue have the option not to turn up? The answer is no. By Rule 14, blue must turn up if needed to avoid contact. 
However, Blue can still protest Yellow for breaking Rule 17. Blue may want to hail Yellow regarding the proper course, but she must avoid contact. Let's watch the next scenario. Yellow and Blue are sailing downwind. Blue is initially ahead of Yellow. Yellow establishes an, an overlap from behind and heads up to get to a large puff that's filling into windward. Blue heads up to avoid Yellow. There was no contact. Blue alleges Yellow broke Rule 17. Yellow alleges she was sailing to the puff. Did Yellow break Rule 17 in this case? No, since Yellow's overlap was obtained from clear astern, she, is, she was required to sail no higher than her proper course. However, Yellow gets to the mark faster by sailing into the puff, so she's entitled to head up as the leeward boat. Blue may have wanted to turn down in the puff, but this isn't relevant in the application of Rule 17. Only the leeward boat's proper course matters here. Here's the next scenario. Yellow and blue are sailing downwind again. Blue establishes an overlap to windward from behind. Yellow hails blue not to go above and heads up to protect her lead. There was no contact. Blue alleges yellow broke rule 17. Yellow alleges she was not bound by rule 17. Did yellow break rule 17 in this case? No. Yellow is not bound by Rule 17 since she was the boat ahead. Rule 17 only applies to a boat that establishes an overlap to leeward from clear astern. The next four scenarios ask you to decide whether Rule 17 applies. In this scenario, yellow and blue are sailing downwind. Yellow establishes an overlap from clear astern. Between positions two and three, yellow jibes twice. After the jibes, does Yellow have any Rule 17 restriction on her course? No. Rule 17 applies while the boats remain on the same tack. Since Yellow jibed, the boats did not remain on the same tack. Even though Yellow jibed back to the same tack as Blue, the Rule 17 restriction no longer applies. How about this next situation? Yellow and blue are sailing upwind. Blue tacks ahead of yellow. During blue's tack, yellow establishes an overlap. At position three, does yellow have any Rule 17 restrictions on her course? The answer is no. Rule 17 states this rule does not apply if the overlap begins while the windward boat is required by Rule 13 to keep clear. Since Blue had not completed her tack when the overlap was established, Rule 17 does not apply to Yellow, and Rule 13 requires Blue to keep clear of Yellow. Two more scenarios to go. In this situation, between position 1 and 2, Yellow establishes an overlap from clear astern and within two hull lengths. Yellow is sailing fast, and between positions three and four, yellow sails ahead of blue and breaks the overlap. At position four, does yellow have any rule 17 restriction on her course? Answer is no. Rule 17 applies while boats remain on the same tack and overlap. Since yellow sailed ahead and broke the overlap, rule 17 no longer applies to yellow at position four. Here's the last scenario. Yellow and blue are sailing on a reach. Between positions one and two, blue establishes an overlap from clear astern. Between positions two and three, blue sails low, away from yellow, while maintaining an overlap. At position three, blue begins heading up again and attempts to head up yellow at position five. At position 5, does Blue have any Rule 17 restrictions on her course? The answer is no. Rule of 17 only applies while the boats remain on the same tack and overlap within the same distance. 
The same distance wording means the two whole lengths referred to in the opening sentence of the rule. Rule 17 no longer applies to blue after she sails more than two whole lengths away from yellow. Let's conclude our discussion of Rule 17 with a few cases from the World Sailing Casebook. We'll give you a very short summary and the conclusion on these cases, but won't go into detail. There's a link to the cases in the salesing.com post that accompanies this video. In case 14, a leeward boat headed up windward boat in order to get out of adverse current. The windward boat protested under Rule 17, claiming that the leeward boat was also sailing into less wind. The case was decided in favor of the leeward boat since it was reasonable that sailing high to avoid current was a decision to attempt to, attempt to finish sooner. In case 134, a leeward boat sailing downwind decided not to raise her spinnaker and instead chose to sail on her head sail. This caused the leeward boat to sail higher to maintain speed. The windward boat protested that the leeward boat should have raised her spinnaker and sailed a lower course. The case was decided in favor of the leeward boat since given the conditions, including the choice of head sail versus spinnaker, the leeward boat's proper course was to sail high. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our videos, please subscribe. Also, visit our website at salesing.com for much more content and some unique sailing products.